ready for some smart sense? Mm -hmm. okay, let's go. Always. <laughs> if you happen to be planning to buy gift cards for your loved ones this holiday season, they may not be the gift that just keeps on giving. Yeah, so law enforcement across the country, they're joining together in this warning about new twists in gift card scams. Consumer reporter Heather Sullivan joins us this morning. I mean, they're so convenient, mm -hmm. but what are the scammers up to now, Heather? Yeah, you know, we've been telling you about what's called gift card cloning, uh, and that's where scammers write down the number of the serial number on the back of the card in stores, and then they drain it as soon as you put money on it. Well, now police say there's a whole new twist. There is a scratch tab that's at the top of the card that you scratch away that has a code on it. With that code is what gives you access to that money. The Pinole police in California have gone viral, explaining how scammers first steal the gift cards out of stores and then watch this. They heat up these envelopes to where they can open them as carefully as they can, remove the card, and actually cut the top of the card off. So I have my handy scissors here. What they did was they cut off the top that has, remember again, this is the code that gives you access to the money to the person that you give the card to. And they take the bottom half of the card, which really means nothing now, put it back into the envelope, re-glue it shut, and just like that, you have a brand new gift card that you think that you're getting for your person for Christmas. An Arizona retail theft task force sees this mass of gift cards now worthless and busted eight suspects who they say bought guns, TVs, even all this Red Bull that they would turn around and sell to strip clubs. We seized more than 10,000 of these cloned gift cards uh, here in Arizona this week. Obviously, we know that's just the tip of the iceberg. And the FBI explains sometimes after scammers scratch the foil off off a card's code, they'll paint it back on. They're empty. They scratch off the foil on it and then write down those numbers and put them in a database. Then they actually are putting foil back on it and going back to the store and putting them back on the shelves. So make sure that foil strip looks like other new cards and do this. Either feel for the entire card, it should be the same size as a credit card, or with the permission of the store, when you go up to purchase these, as you're purchasing them, remove them from these folders and actually take the card and make sure that the whole card is there. And keep your receipts and take a photo of the back of the card of that serial number. If you discover that your card has been drained, you want to report it right away to the gift card company. You'll need that number. Oh my goodness, Heather. I mean, so frustrating. Keep coming Isn't up with it? new ways to rip us off. Yeah. Okay, so if this happens to you, can you get your money back? Yeah, so you often are out the money. Some companies, though, they do want to hear from you right away. They will freeze the card, and if the scammer hasn't drained it yet, you may be able to get your money back. Uh, right, keep the receipt just in case, yeah, I guess. Good right, idea. Good oh, right. my goodness. All right. Well, appreciate the heads up once again, Heather. Mm -hmm. Saving the holidays for us. <laughs>